So this is my super weird, but also super minimal iPhone 15 Pro Max filmmaking rig. I was literally looking through my office trying to figure out what kind of rig that I could make and came up with this super weird, but also super cool monstrosity. Wenda, uh, if you thought this was a new Sony lens, it's not. It's just a Sony lens cap and that's a filter mount. Whoops. All right, let's just go from the bottom up. This is actually from Zion. These are uh, tabletop legs that you would mount underneath the gimbal so that you can balance it on a flat surface. This actually makes for a really cool mini tripod for my iPhone filmmaking rig. And because of the grippy surface of these tabletop legs, it actually makes for a really nice handheld grip. There are tons of these little tabletop legs that you can find on Amazon for dirt cheap, but I just found this laying around over there and I thought it'd be a really good hand grip for my little filmmaking rig. Next up is my phone holder and this is from small rig. Uh, I really like this and I usually use this phone holder for my Xperia 1 Mark V when I use it as a monitor and recorder for my Sony cameras. But I really like this phone holder because there's a cold shoe on the top and the bottom so that you can mount other accessories like a light or a microphone. We'll get to that in a sec. But you can adjust the position of your phone, whether you want to tilt up, tilt down, if you want to rotate it and film vertically. It's a pretty cool mount, I quite like it. And because there's a quarter 20 thread underneath the phone holder, it was super easy to mount it to my little grip thing. But you can also mount this phone holder on top of the hot shoe of any camera. This is on the pricier side though. I know there are cheaper phone holders out there that you can get on Amazon, but I really like this phone rig. It looks cool, it's very sturdy. I like that it's adjustable. I also like that you can rotate it so that you can film a vertical content and I feel like it's the perfect phone holder for this specific rig but yeah whatever phone holder you have I'm sure will do fine I, I just like the small rig the best uh, next up uh, this is a USB-C thumb drive from Samsung uh, this is a 128 gig version uh, there's pros and cons to, to using this thumb drive because I've heard from some people that there's some drop frames when you're recording 4K60. Uh, I haven't really experienced that yet. And I am gonna make a video testing out all the different media drives that you can use with the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. I personally like using the SSD, but because of my little rig, there's no way to use the MagSafe connection to like mount it. I could probably like gaff tape it, but I don't know. It's already a monstrosity. My second favorite is actually uh, recording off the SD card. I got the ProGrade uh, 120 8 gig version and the card reader that I'm using is from Apple and so uh, I like this little combo it's pretty minimal everyone has an SD card and I'm pretty sure a lot of you already have the USB-C SD card reader from the days when the MacBook Pros didn't have the SD card slot remember those dark days yeah that was weird but I found this in a box and it actually was a really good solution to record externally with the iPhone 15 Pro Max but in this demonstration I wanted to use a USB-C thumb drive because uh, well because it looks really cute. And over here is my favorite part about this rig. And this is a 67 millimeter filter mount from Moment. And here I've stacked two filters. It's actually pretty cool because it just kind of hangs on your phone and there's like this little knob where you just tighten it to make sure that it's attached to your phone. And because of the 67 millimeter filter thread, you can attach any 67 millimeter lens that you have. Or if you have step up rings, if you've got a bigger filter, then you can definitely use that. But I already had some 67 millimeter filters anyway. The first filter that I attached is the black Pro Mist filter. This is the one fourth version. And I wanted to use a black Pro Mist filter because I didn't want the iPhone footage to look like iPhone footage. You know what I mean? Like smartphone footage in general has this over sharpened look to it. And I wanted to soften it up by adding a black Pro Mist filter. And on top of that, I've stacked the Polar Pro VND filter. This is a two to five stop version. And having an ND filter just helps control your exposure without having to adjust much on the camera itself. And oftentimes when filming outdoors on the default, iPhone camera app, like the way the camera will control exposure is to crank up the shutter speed. And I didn't want that choppy look. And so, yeah, that's why I wanted to add this variable ND filter. And in combination with the Black Pro Mist filter, I think it makes a pretty cool look. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And there are times where I don't use the variable ND filter at all. I just like using the Black Pro Mist filter. Regardless, I just thought it'd be a really cool idea to add some sort of filter mount to my iPhone rig because, well, why not? And if you want to have a lens cap for this, you just, you know, found this little Sony lens cap and now it's a it's a Sony phone. Wait a minute, they already make phones. All right, so I'm using the 0.5X camera, no filters on. I wanna show you a before and after. Uh, again, this is without the Black Promis filter on. All right, so now I've got the Black Promis filter on and it should soften up pretty much everything in the frame. Should be a nice glow on some edges over here. But yeah, just a cool way to soften up that sharp smartphone look.
hopefully it looks good. All right, so now I've attached the variable ND filter with the black Promus filter, and that should hopefully control the exposure, although I don't think I really need it now. It's not that bright outside, but pretty cool that I can stack two filters on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. All right, let's do another example. This is without any filters on. This is what the shot looks like. And now let's go ahead and attach the, uh, the black Promus filter. And here it is again with the black Promus filter on. And then just for funsies, let's go ahead and attach the variable ND filter. There we go. That's with the variable ND filter on. Here's what the shot looks like. And so overall, this is what my rig looks like. It's pretty cool. I like it. Not sure if I'll use a USB-C thumb drive that much. I think I'll probably use the SD card uh, the most for this particular rig. And then I'm still trying to figure out an audio solution. I have the Rode Video Micro 2, and I could super easily attach it to the cold shoe of my small rig phone mount. And the only way for me to, to use a microphone is if I don't record externally. And I got this USB-C mic adapter, and I'm able to record audio um, from the mic there, but I can't record externally. And so I don't know if there's like a USB-C splitter where I can connect a mic and a thumb drive or my SD card at the same time. I actually don't know if there's a solution out there, but if you know a solution, then let me know in the comments below because I have been looking. Oh, and on the note of adding a mic uh, to this rig, uh, I didn't want to for this particular setup. I wanted to have a minimal uh, iPhone filmmaking setup. I'll probably make another video like with the ultimate filmmaking rig for an iPhone, which I, I think is kind of silly. So yeah, I didn't really want to add a mic to this already ridiculous rig. Not gonna lie, uh, this rig is kind of cool, but I don't think I'd be using this particular rig out in the field. I mean, maybe I'd use the SSD or SD card reader and I'd most likely be using my iPhone 15 Pro Max for like behind the scenes kind of stuff. But it is kind of fun like adding all these accessories to a mobile device. And yeah, it opens up opportunities for a lot of people to create some pretty cool things. But I've been working on this little thing all day and I just had to show you because it's so weird and also so cool. And I really wanna know what other things I can add to this little rig. And so if you have suggestions, then by all means, let me know in the comments below. All right, I gotta go, I gotta go do stuff. I don't remember what I need to be doing but I need to be doing it. Okay, bye.